Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna try and chop up some Sassy Girl Aroma Loaves. These are pretty boring loaves, they're just solid colors. And um, I'm not in my usual spots, I'm actually on the countertop. If the cat jumps up here, this is why I don't film on the countertop because cats will jump up if they think I'm doing something fun up here. Um, <clears throat> yes, I have some wax loaves and um, I did microwave four of them, so they should be ready to go. But I don't know how well it's going to go because I haven't tried these um, like solid colored loaves. The, the chunky ones pretty much crumble when you cut them. Um, I don't know if I've done a video of cutting them up. But these ones supposedly do better now. A lot of people that do cut them up use fishing line. I'm just using this um, like a soap cutter that I got at I don't remember, Michael's or... Hobby Lobby or something. I, I think I got it at Michael's and used a 50% off coupon, so it was probably only like $4 or something. So <clears throat> let's just get into it. I've been microwaving them on paper plates, and a little bit of it does melt, like a little bit of it melted off the top of this one. You can kind of see around the edges and then over on this side. And so I stuck a paper towel on top of the plate, and I just stack paper towels on top of the, like, let me show you. I'm using like an old, as flat of a plate as possible. I don't know why, I just like that a lot better. Um, most of the time when I'm not filming, I'll just chop it up on this plate too. <coughs> Excuse me. I better go get my drink. <coughs> but for the sake of the video, I'm going to do it on here. Now, some of it melts and so I just I layer the paper towels on there so that it doesn't get too super gooey. I got to go get a drink. Okay. I got my little blackberry bubbly. I know I don't really like these types of drinks without sugar. <laughs> I'm a pop person. I like pop. I don't drink it a ton. Like I'm not a regular pop drinker, but I love pop. And um, people at my work drink these and like other ones because I work in a dental office, obviously. And um, <clears throat> they like the zero sugar type things that are a little bit healthier for you. Um, they'd probably think I was trashy if I <laughs> brought pop and, um, they've made like comments to me actually on uh, times where like, I'll get fast food for lunch and I have pop. They're like, ew, what are you drinking? But, um, I'm trashy and I like pop, but today I'm drinking bubbly. This is the blackberry. Not that you guys care, but these types of like carbonated water, flavored water drinks, I just, I don't drink the whole thing. They're just not, I don't know. It's like refreshing for a little bit, but I don't really care for them. So I'm not really sure I'm going to do this. It's just going in this bag. This is the blend your own one that I did. It's the, she titled it. What if it's, um, blackberry and vanilla butter fudge or vanilla fudge butter. However, that goes. And so I'm just going to see how easy, Oh, this does slide down really easily. Okay. I didn't think that was going to cut very easily. Hopefully you can see. I'm probably going to do chunks this way, like halfway through, like that. Let's do this one too. This smells really good. Her blackberry is a really good blackberry, in my opinion. <clears throat> yeah. If I clear my throat a lot, it's because I'm allergic to nuts. And I, we always have treats at my work. Someone brought in a big bag of peanut M&Ms and that is a weakness. So yes, I did eat a bunch of peanut M&Ms even though I'm allergic to them. Now some people will like to melt smaller pieces than this or larger pieces than this. This is like typically the size that I would like to melt. If it doesn't give me a throw, I'm gonna put in more. But like I'll do, some smaller pieces, some larger pieces. These are actually pretty similar in size because this one's thinner than this one, but anyway, there's that. And <clears throat> I'm just hoping the cat doesn't like video bomb me chopping these up. So I've seen some people say like, oh, I want to do a wax chopping video, but I don't know what to talk about. Well, I pretty much talk about nothing. If you want to mute me, that's fine if you just like to watch me chop stuff up. That's okay. I don't care. Fine by me. It's kind of like therapeutic to watch stuff get cut up. I don't know why. Now if I could put all these back together in a puzzle piece, that would be 
<clears throat> that would be fun. But I'm not going to. I need a paper towel. Just <clears throat> kind of wipe my fingers off. So I haven't tried this yet, even though this was like my custom loaf. Now, when I put them back in the bag, I do tend to try and pick like the pieces I want to save for last, like my the best pieces or the largest pieces, which is terrible. But I'm going to try not to do that. I sometimes just like, you know, I'll go around and pick and choose which pieces I want. Usually if, if they're like crappy looking or they don't turn out very well, I will um, try and put like the worst pieces on the top just so that I melt them sooner. I don't know. It's just like my weird OCD. Now I am surprised that this is the same bag it came in yet it's like pretty full now. I need to pull out my chunk bags of Sassy Girl Aroma and chop up my chunks because I honestly, I don't melt them if I have to cut them up. Like, I just suck at using them. So I, I really should put them in poly bags, but I would not film that. That would take forever, but there's the first one. Sorry if I have it sideways, so yeah. And this is from November 2018. So there's number one, and I think I'll just set it right up there. <clears throat> Let's grab the second one, which is also purple. And you can see this one melted more on the bottom, but I don't really care. This one is Catered Affair. And this is Blackberry Strawberry Beach Nights. And I'm, the thing is, I'm pretty sure that I did this as my blend your own loaf, but it's weird that one of them, yeah, because I got them in the same order. It's weird that one of them doesn't have the scent description and the other one does. So anyway, I will just, I'll leave that, no, you won't even be able to see it anyway. I was going to say, I'll leave it in the frame so you can see what uh, scent it is. <clears throat> so I haven't been able to film a lot of videos. I've honestly, I haven't even been interested in doing videos. I know that's sad. I'm just preoccupied. It's not like I don't like wax anymore. I'll probably get more into it in the fall. Again, as things settle down, um, I will either be finding a house or I will be giving up on my search for the year. Um, I did just put in an offer and I'll find out tomorrow. It's highest and best. This is the fifth place I put in an offer on. They've all gone highest and best. It's a terrible time to be trying to buy a house right now. A lot of you might not know I'm trying to buy a house. Um, a townhouse or like a small single family house. I have certain cities I'm looking in and they are more in demand. Plus it's a seller's market so it's kind of crazy. Um, I didn't really want to talk about it at first because of how much anxiety it gives me. Like this is why I'm chopping these loaves up now. Because, um, did I say loafs? I meant loaves with a V. It's not L-O-A-F-S. I know that. It's L-O-A-V-E-S. Anyway. Oh no, I hear Tiger crying. Great, he's gonna cry for the duration of this video. I locked him away because he's the first one that would jump up here. <clears throat> anyway, so, sorry if my arm is in the way. I probably picked the wrong side to do this on. Um, that one turned out well too. And I'm sorry if I'm leaning forward and it's dark right here. I can't really help that unless I slid everything over, but I, then I think I'd be leaning even more and you'd still see me. So I'm just gonna keep it here where it is. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so, um, it's definitely a seller's market. Uh, when I first started looking, it was in, um, like May or June, and now we're at the end of July, and I know May, June, July are the busy months, so I am, I'm kind of a little bit nervous that things are going to be really settling down. I hear that they do in August and then you'll have like a little burst of sales again in September. But then it's like September, October. I'm not going to search in November because my closing date would be like December, maybe even January, um, depending on the seller and you know my lender and all that. So I don't, I, I'll probably just wait until next year then have a larger down payment. So there is the catered affair one and that's what it looks like. I'll chop it up. <clears throat> okay, next one. So, to tell you about my experience so far, and what I mean by a seller's market, um, I'm doing this all on my own. I'm not married. I don't have any kids. I. It's nice because I can decide on my own what I want to do 
for a house. Like everything that I like. Yeah, this one's harder. I don't know. I might have to microwave this again. We're going to see. I think I can get through it. But we'll see. I also am getting some purple from that, but I, I honestly don't care. Um, I forgot to show you which one this is. I'll show you in a second here. So it's nice because I decide what I want, but at the same time, I don't have someone else to tell me, yes, this is a good decision. No, it's not. And I have brought my mom to a few showings and um, she's had her own opinions about the different places or whatever. So this is Radiant Red Maple, Cupcakes at Tiffany's, Marshmallow Fireside, and that's it. <laughs> I blended this one too. It says BYO, blend your own loaf. So I don't know if this is actually going to smell Oh no, this does smell good. Okay, mmm. I, I smelled it in the bag when I got it and I was like, oh, Christy, what'd you do? This is not good. But no, this is really good. I smell the radiant red maple and the marshmallow fireside for sure. The cupcakes at Tiffany's give us the bakery note. Oh, I think I'm gonna like this one. Okay, all right, I'm excited. Um, so if I'm rambling, I'm all over the place. But yeah, anyway, so I have had my mom go, and I've told her, like, about some of the places. My dad, just in his mind, thinks I'm being super picky. Um, I'm, I'm, I had to bring my mom with me, and she was like, no, she's not being picky. These places are either really nice or they're dumps. And they're all overpriced because it's a seller's market. And then you have to offer five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 over list just to get them. I'm, it's insane. You basically have to lie on your purchase agreement about how much you're going to put down because they'll want to pick someone who has a larger down payment just in case the house doesn't um, uh, appraise. So they want the person that can um, come up with that extra money like, oh, well, they have a large down payment. They'll be able to make up the difference and they can just finance the rest. Okay. One of my cats is... Now I think it's Felix that's crying. Scratching at the door... Probably gonna have to let them up. There are I had I bought a bunch of bananas and there are like fruit flies flying around. So I'm gonna pause this video as soon as I'm done with this. I gotta go let him up or he's gonna cry and bug me. I will be right back. Okay, boy was I wrong. Tiger wanted to come back in. Felix wanted to go out. So whatever. Whatever. Okay, so anyway, so I'm just not down with doing that. So the first like four. PAs I like filled out basically my offers. I was like, I, I don't want to do that. I want to, I want to get it the right way. I want to tell them how much I'm going to put down. And I was a little bit undecided between like the percentages too. So we just went with like the slightly higher of the two. Um, and my lender said it's fine too. Sorry. There's like the little bug is flying right into my face, but I don't know. I just didn't feel great about it. So anyway, um, I put in offers for four different places. Uh, three of the four of them had four or five different offers. <clears throat> one, the last one that I put in an offer on had nine offers before mine. So I was number 10 and I don't even know how many they got after that. I just, I don't even really wanna know because it makes me sick. And I'm, they're all basically going highest and best. You're offering way more money than they're worth. It's just sickening. It's that one. Very nice. And so there's nothing I can really do about it except maybe wait and not buy something. But I don't want to wait because interest rates might go up. And I, yeah, I don't want to wait. Everybody is telling me that it's smarter to just buy now and see, you know, keep trying, stay positive, all of that. So I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> I might have to pause to microwave. This last one? Yeah, I think I might. Sorry, I didn't mean last one. I just mean last one that I already microwaved because I microwaved at the same time as this one and I don't think it turned out very well. So I just, you can probably hear the microwave going right now. Yes. So I think I'll just chat while I'm microwaving. I'm doing the other two and letting this one cool off because now, now I microwaved it too much and now it's kind of gooey. But anyway, so... Um, I thought about like talking in detail about the houses. I don't know that I'll have enough time to do it in this video. Um, more of just like documentation for myself of like the stress and anxiety so I could look back and watch this video and think like, oh, thank God you're over all of that. So the first house, I 
found, like in the first weekend, I went to go look for things. And it was two bedroom, two bathroom near my parents' house, um, which is nice. Near retail and everything, <clears throat> not too far. And I put in an offer and I knew that there was a pet number limit, but I didn't really think about it until after I put in the offer and I just like panicked and I was like, oh my God. And I should probably add like this was when I was going in like, oh yeah, I'm going to wheel and deal and I'll offer like only list price, but I'll ask them to do like 3% closing costs and maybe in a normal scenario you could, but not in this seller's market. I learned pretty quickly that you cannot really ask for closing costs unless you offer a lot more. So there was one other offer on this place and I'm actually really surprised there weren't more than that because it's a nice, it was a nice place. And, um, <clears throat> I stressed about it over the weekend and I like, didn't sleep at all. I found out there was another offer and they were like, oh, well it can be yours if you take out the closing costs. And not only did I like not really want the place because of the pet number limit, you guys know I have three cats, the city I'm looking in only allows two. So I knew an HOA wasn't going to allow more than that. And I just, it was, de I was debating whether I wanted to just do it anyway and hope they don't catch me or like the panic of if they caught me and they find me or they made me move out or sell really quickly. I just, I was like, that's not worth it to me. I don't want to do it. So when they, when my realtor asked me if I wanted to like bump up my offer to beat this other, other offer, I said, no, I don't want to. No, I don't want it anymore. So let's just forget about it. Let's do this one. This one smells really good. This is blackberry, strawberry, ginger ale, and then this is also, this was a blend your own milk too. I think all of these were, <clears throat> and I'm not super into ginger ale, but that definitely smells like ginger ale, which makes me want ginger ale. And then it's like fruity. There's definitely a fruit. I don't know if I get like her classic blackberry or strawberry, but yeah, anyway, let's, let's dig right through this bad boy. So that's not uneven. That's okay. This isn't as hot as I thought it would be. Or warm, I should say, melty and gooey. Um, so yeah, I let that one go. No regrets. I, I'm glad. When I think back of like the places that I lost, that's not one of them that I'm like sad about at all. The second one is the hard, hard one. I just started coughing out of nowhere, so I had to pause again to get a drink. Okay, so the second house, townhouse. I, al I always mean townhouse unless I tell you something different. This one was completely flipped. It was a flipper. The person who owned it was also the realtor. He'd also done the work. It was beautiful. It was like HGTV style, updated exactly how I want it. I don't know why these pieces look small to me now. I must have cut that weird. But it was beautiful, like white cabinets and pretty countertops and the cool toned laminate like LVT I like. Um, I don't want hardwood floors, ideally. I don't want to maintain them, so that's kind of like a downside. Um, if I see a place most people want, like, oh, I don't want laminate, I want hardwood floors. I'm the opposite. I don't want to maintain them. I have cats. I want something that's cheaper that I can just replace pretty easily if I decide I want to. So anyway, there's that. <clears throat> anyway, I love this place. I think it had like four or five offers at least. It went highest and best. I did my absolute highest and best. Went way out of my comfort zone. I would have been broke. No wax for me if I got that house. <clears throat> but I didn't get it. It was really frustrating. And then at the end of the now they told you on like Tuesday if you got it. It was like highest and best by 6 p.m. Tuesday and I found out that night I didn't get it. So I'm moving on with my life, <clears throat> and by like the next week sometime, or maybe a little bit less, I don't remember, it was back on the market. The buyers backed out, and I don't know if they just had buyer's remorse or something with the inspection, but I saw it late at night because I just kept like obsessively refreshing my search to see what places there were, and maybe I could find something that makes it, or, you know, would work for me, and all of a sudden that one popped up, and I'm like, wait, what the heck? Am I in an old email? Like, because I get the emails for it. And I thought, no, that's not possible. And I said it was there and not contingent or anything. And I 
messaged my realtor like 11 o'clock at night and was like, oh my God, the Wedgwood house is back. And he's like, no, 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 I don't think it is. I think it's contingent because it showed contingent for him. Well, then he went into his actual like realtor portal thing where there's notes and it said buyer backed out, you know, back on the market. I kind of screwed this up a little bit. Here it is for you all to see. <clears throat> number four down, we're on to number five. So, gosh, I hope I'm putting these in the right bags. Yes, I am. There's no way I could screw that up. That was definitely blackberry strawberry ginger ale. Okay, this one I, I don't know about. I don't know how this is going to go. <clears throat> so, get out of here, fruit fly. I bought like a ton of bananas and now I have fruit flies everywhere. I just finished the bananas though, so that's good. They hopefully they'll go away. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, we contacted that realtor and he was like, oh yeah, and, he, and my realtor was like, what do we have to do to get the deal done? Like, let's go for it. We were, you know, we were interested in it before. We still are. He was like, yeah, yeah, I'll send you the inspection report. Nothing major, whatever. Well, he didn't get back to us and we couldn't figure out why. Well, turns out he actually contacted the second highest offer and decided to go with them and then just not tell us. So I was like waiting for three days, I think, before I even found out that I was not getting that place because I thought like, oh yeah, he, you know, he seems pretty confident <clears throat> in us and wants to work with us. Well, that's just didn't pan out so that one is like almost ready to it probably had its closing date pretty soon because that was like a month ago and anyway that one I will I will never forget that one I will never forget it I loved it so much it was my dream my dream one like I don't even have high expectations um I don't think but the style of it was like this older style quad style townhome that I just really really love it has an upper deck and a lower walkout, and I just, I loved it. I loved it. Anyway, <clears throat> so there's that one. So moving on, number three. Number three was a twin home, which is kind of like a townhouse, except it has no association, so it's a lot cheaper. And that one was a little bit more expensive, but I could go more expensive because it didn't have an association fee. Association fees can be very different depending on what state you live in. Most around me are, like, I would say between 175 and 275 so somewhere around there <clears throat> I'm looking for like the low 200s that would be great anything under 200 is good but you really have to see what they cover too because some cover sewer and water and some cover the building exterior and some don't and so you got to figure out what kind of situation you want to put yourself in for that but anyway this twin home was four bedrooms two bathrooms it had been Updated, remodeled, like it looked really, really nice. I loved it. it had new windows. That's important to me. Um, and um, I didn't get it. <laughs> I had like five other offers and I I went way above. And so when we find out like what, what that we don't get it, the realtors will tell us the reason. And pretty much all of the reasons have been the same thing, which is you know, thank you for your offer. It was, you know, probably the most competitive or one of the most competitive, but however, we went with another buyer due to them having a larger down payment. I don't have, you know, that larger down payment again. So they're worried that it's not going to appraise. And they actually said that they said due to the buyers uh, worry that it may not appraise, we have to go with someone that has a larger down payment. So that sucks. I didn't even show you which, what this one was. This is blackberry cotton candy birthday cake. Also one of my blender owns. So I'm pretty sure these are all, they are. There's only one more. Yeah, that one smells good, but not as good as I thought. I was gonna, I was hoping it was, I don't know. Not as good as I thought it was going to, is what I was trying to say. I smell a little bit of the blackberry and the birthday cake. It honestly smells like one I already have, which is like pink chiffon blackberry birthday cake, and I don't know why that would be, but that's just what it smells like. So there's that. <clears throat> Last one. This is still gooey, so I definitely, I feel like it's going to be hollow in the middle. This is Racing for Time. And this is Cinnamon Sugar Donut type, you know, Bath and Body Works, Cinnamon Sugar Donut, Cupcakes at Tiffany's, and Vanilla Fudge Butter. I think this is the one that didn't smell as good as I hoped. I smell a Cinnamon Sugar Donut. I don't, and I smell a, a little bit of that toffee from the Cupcakes at Tiffany's. 
but it, it doesn't have that like rich vanilla I was hope, gonna, hoping I was going to have with the vanilla butter fudge, but that's okay. So we're cutting them all differently. See all that purple? I'm just going to wipe that away. <clears throat> yeah, so I lost the twin home. That was number three. Number four was another town home. Smallest one of the few. And I thought for sure I'm going to get this one because we put in an a really good offer. And he said that for the twin home too. He said, if you don't get these, like if you don't get this one, I don't know what we're doing wrong. And so, you know, whatever. So then same thing for this fourth one. The fourth one is in a really in-demand school district. I'm afraid this is just going to like bend and melt. It's so weird. Um, like bend in half. So did I say school system? School district? So it was in a really in-demand school district. But it's still, it's like my requirements are two bedrooms, two bathrooms. And I, I don't, I like the reason why I really liked it was I, I was like, oh, I don't think anyone is going to care about this school district because it's kind of a small town home. It was updated. Again, had a nice flooring that I like, nice white kitchen. Everything was pretty, um, but it was small and it was only one and a half bathrooms. So I'm thinking like nobody with their kid is going to move in here unless it's like, like a single parent and maybe a teenage kid or something where, I don't know. I just, I didn't see it. I didn't see like a play area for young kids or anything like that. So anyway, there were, that was the one that had nine offers due to that district and area. Everybody goes crazy for that area. It's really nice, but it's a little bit further away from where I am now. So it's not the most ideal. It was the worst location of the few, in my opinion. Okay, here comes Tiger right on time. Um... So, yeah, I, I did not end up getting that one either. And then there was, like, some time in between where I didn't really see anything that I liked. And I was starting to get nervous. And then I found this one that's a little further away north. And it's... I'm at the edge where, like, I'm in a good city, but if you head in one direction, you're going to head out to, like, Farmville. So... This was in the direction of Farmville. And you drive down like long country roads, back roads to get there, or you take the horrible freeway. Um, I would be going like with, along with traffic in the morning to and from work, which was not the most ideal. No one I know lives really in that direction or area. Well, I have a couple friends, but they're a little bit further and you take different roads to get there. So I don't know that anyone would really ever want to come visit me there, which is sad. This is weird that like the inside I don't know if it's picking up on camera. It looks different than the outside. Um, but anyway, so I really liked it. Two bedrooms, two full bathrooms, updated, nice flooring. I liked everything about it, but the location, I was a little bit nervous. And then, like, we got the information, like the disclosure, and it said, um, like, the listing said water softener owned, but in the disclosure that the owner had to fill out, it said there was no water softener. She'd like checked a box that there was no water softener. And then I'm like, I, don't, I, I saw it twice and I didn't even pay attention to that because I thought it would just be listed you know, on there and, and uh, be the same. And then also the listing said there was no pet limit, but then, or wait, the listing said there was a pet limit, but she wrote on the disclosure that there wasn't. So I just wanted to know, like if I, I'm gonna sneak my pets in, is there a pet limit or not? And so there's the bag. And so, yeah, we were waiting to hear back. Well, when we were trying to get a hold of them, they were really, like, poor communication. And we finally found out that the seller was having second thoughts about selling her home. It was a, just a, a single woman. And um, we waited and waited and waited and waited and waited and waited and waited. And I finally called the listing agent on my own and was like, hey, we're interested in putting in this offer. Like, is this... Is, she going to be selling? Should we move on? You know, like I, I'm just kind of sitting around and waiting and not really pulling the trigger on anything else. And he was like, I'll get back to you. Well, that took, that took like four or five more days after that. And um, this is just how I clean this. So I don't know if you, can, you guys care if you're interested in seeing how I clean or just wipe this off. And so um, we finally found out and my realtor passed on to me that she is not selling. So I, I still think about that place. 
if I could put in an offer on it right now, I would. Um, I was going to put an offer less just because it was sitting on the market, but I don't know if it was sitting on the market now. Now, in hindsight, I don't know if it was sitting there because they'd told other people that she didn't know if she was going to sell or if it was just that um, no one was really interested in it. I will have no idea. So there are the bags here. I'm going to show you that for a second while I just clean some stuff up. <clears throat> so that's that. Now, moving on, I found another place that I like and I just put an offer on, but there are two other offers that I know of, and so I'm going above and beyond. It's that quad style townhome that I tend to like, but it only has the upper deck, no lower walkout. Um, so it's not completely like the dream house and it's a completely different style. It's more wood, hardwood floors. I would want to paint a lot, like trim and paint some walls. And it's not exactly like how I would want it to be, I guess. It, it's very nice though. It's super clean. Like I notice like something that's really clean versus something and well-maintained versus something that's dirty. And I want something that's very clean and well-maintained and this just is. And then this other one that I've been, I've seen twice, I've been wanting to put in an offer on, but it has this whole assessment problem. Long story short, there was a big lawsuit, the HOA file a lawsuit against the siding company from like hail damage repair like 12 years ago and they ended up settling for like less than half of the cost that it's gonna be to repair it so there's a in the disclosure it that the seller sends you it says like warns me like hey if you're gonna buy this just know um, they're they're basically like going to try and have the homeowners or the levy an assessment or a special assessment or something to have the homeowners make up the rest of it. Well, I did the math on like the, I don't remember what it was, like let's say $1.8 million divided by how many townhomes I thought were in that area, which I think there are 84 of them. I could probably call and find out, but, and I divided that up to see how much like each person would pay or each unit. And it was like 22000 something hundred dollars. And I don't know if that's, if they're going to make them pay the whole cost. I don't know if it's something that they'd add like $30 onto your HOA a month for five years until I can get it paid or I have no idea. So I don't really know what I'm getting into. Um, but the HOA is already $298 a month and that's a lot. <clears throat> it does include basic cable, but I'm like, what if I don't want cable? I'm forced to pay for it. That's stupid. So anyway, um, I don't think I'm going to put in an offer on it. I really, I really, really like it. If it didn't have that issue, I would probably put in an offer on it, but I have to. It would have to be a low wall offer just because the HOA is so high. So yeah. Anyway, now I'm just rambling. So if you want to click out of the video, you can. I was just trying to finish up my little story on the townhome. So I will find out tomorrow if I got the one I put the offer on. If not, that will be the fifth one that I did not get after putting in offers. What I like, what I don't like, what I want to put an offer on, and <clears throat> I think if I. I don't know there's always going to be something nice that comes along again so I can't settle you know because I am going to find something nice it's just a matter of time and maybe it is smarter to offer like in my listing to say I'm going to pay this much down like offer more down but because I can change that at any time I could say I'm going to put 50% down in cash and then change my mind in finance 100% of it or whatever <clears throat> but not 100%. I'm doing conventional, so no, not 100%. Anyway, I just, I I sort of feel like I really want to be in this quad style, and I'm not going to be happy if I am in something else. And so I'm just like, I, maybe I should just cut my search down to just the quad style ones and wait till they come along, but I'm telling you, there's only like four a month. It's, it's really tough. So I'm trying to figure out, like, am I being too picky? And the thing is, people look at me and they think, like, oh, this is a young woman. She's probably going to live in this house for a couple years until she finds someone, gets married, and have kids. But I don't know that about myself. I don't know if I'm ever going to get married. I don't even want to date people because I don't trust men from past experiences. And so I may never get married. I may never have kids. And so these are just random thoughts from Christy. 
But anyway, I want to buy something that I know that I can live in, like a homestead, like <laughs> create my home. I also like really, really love my cats and you guys know that. And so when I look at something, instead of like, oh, here's where the children would play, I'm like, oh, here's where I'd put the cat tower and they could look out to these trees. And that was one of the things with the Rogers home is it only had pine trees. And I was like, oh, I really want some oak trees or something. I want some other kind of tree than a pine tree. I'm like, my cats need trees. I, you know, they're home all day long. I work a lot. I want them to have something to look at and see birds and bunnies and squirrels and wildlife and be able to watch them, you know, not have a super boring life inside like a place with no windows. And so anyway, that's it. <laughs> that's all I got. Enough rambling. How long is this video? Oh my God, super long. Okay. Well, it's going to be titled like wolf chopping and rambles for sure. I hope that all you guys are doing well. I hope you're having a funner summer than I, I will never forget this summer. But I have done nothing fun. It's been all looking at homes and putting in offers and stressing and no sleep and work, 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 work. So that's it. Um, take care, you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.